Come on, Susan. I said I was going to teach you how to pull a shoe. All right, I got the purse. You're really going to show me how to do this? It's not a purse. It's a must-have. Must well, show me why I must have it. Okay. Well, if Duncan springs his shoe somewhere and the nails are going into his foot someplace where they don't belong, you'll be glad you learned this. Duncan's got plain stamp shoes on, so we won't need the crease pullers. We're going to use these. Uh, to show you exactly what you should do, we're going to use my stand. Okay. So you don't get your pants dirty. Thank you. But you could set his foot right up here. And you're just going to take the file and you see the clinches? Whatever clinches are left in the foot, just take the file and run them right off. How do I know what side of the rasp to use? Well, there's a very rough side and a smooth side. Anything on the top of the horse's foot, we always want to use the smooth side. So when you have the clinches off, bring this right around. Now you see all this dirt and stuff in there? When we're pulling the shoe, we want to leave the dirt in there because that's going to cushion. So I'm going to grab the shoe and just slide it underneath like that. Then I'm going to come from the heel across to this nail. So kind of a diagonal type just of pull? Just a diagonal pull. Okay. Not all the way off. Then I'll knock it down and grab your nails and pull them out. Okay. Then come over here and do the same thing. From this heel to that nail hole, pop it up. See how it brings the nail heads up out of the shoe? So I loosen the shoe, mm -hmm. I pull the shoe out with a diagonal motion, and then I tap it back in, and then that allows me to pull the nail heads? Yep. Now all the nails are out and the shoe falls right off. Notice we didn't tear up the hoof wall. I see that. And we didn't even mark his sole because we left all that dirt in there to protect it. So you go ahead and pick his foot up and set it right up there. All right, so right here. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is a different vantage point. Smooth side. Work on this side from the opposite side. I think I need training for this. The file runs the other way. Only cuts one way. A couple good rubs. That's it, you're getting them. This if you don't press so hard, right. just go light. Light and fast. There you go. All right, that feels better. There you go. That's probably enough. Okay. Now come over to the other side. You move your body to the inside of his foot. I'll okay, so I'm going to come in between yep. here? Yep. All right. You'll be fine. It's pretty different from picking a huff out. Yeah. Then this way? Yep. Light, light. There you go. Concentrate on one at a time. Stop for a second. Okay. You see how the nails are just the width of a nail now? I do. Well, that's because you filed off the clinch. Oh, so that's a good thing. That's time to stop. Okay. Now we're ready to move around and pull that shoe off. We got the clinches all cut off and nice and clean on the front. We do that because we don't want to tear his foot up. Now grab right. it right here like I did and push it right towards one o'clock on the horseshoe. Easy now. Uh -huh. Not too much. Good, good. Now grab it over on the other branch. Okay. There you go. Oh. Easy. Now push it down and pull each one of your nails by itself. Right. There we go. Now use the leverage on that nice long tool. There you are. Grab it by the outside edge one more time and push it towards one o'clock. Easy. Okay. There you go. Can you get those nails now? I think so. I think we're a little better off. There we go. If you ever tried to pull a shoe without a pair of shoe pullers, it's really tough. There's not that many tools around the barn that can do this. I'll tell you, this is a fantastic kit because I remember once in an emergency trying to pull a set of shoes and I had pliers and a hammer and it wasn't nearly as easy as this. Well, you never know when they're going to come in handy. The veterinary comes to take x-rays or something and the blacksmith's not there. Now, with that one, you know what you can do? Sque what? Squeeze it tight and pull it right back towards the heel. Good job. I have a new respect for the farrier now. With the right tools, you can pop that shoe right off yourself. This is great. It seems like it has a lot of leverage and uh, is able to pull the nails out a lot easier than the other methods I've tried. A farrier makes pulling a shoe look easy. You can learn to do the job in case of emergency. It is essential to have the right tools and to learn the steps firsthand from your farrier. Here's a quick recap of the basics. Start by rasping off the clinches. Loosen the shoe 
at the heel. And finally, remove the nails. Be sure to use the tool's long handles for extra leverage. And remember, the next time your farrier's in the barn, be sure to ask him or her to teach you how to properly pull a horseshoe in case of emergency. The wall is where we put the nails in and they're safe, but sometimes the shoe gets half off, half on, and then the nails are going into the sole. That could give your horse an abscess. So rather than having them stand on that twisted shoe for a day or two, if you have a pair of shoe pullers, you can take care of that yourself. Don't miss Farrier Facts with Andrew Ellsbury only on Unbridled.